Hi everybody, I am Johanna Varner from Colorado Mesa University and in this quick video I'm going to orient you to how to find SquirrelNet data sets on Google Drive and how to have your students submit data to those data sets. So this is the shared network folder for the behavior module and if you're working with one of our other modules what you'll notice is that the format of this folder should look the same. Um, I'm just going to show you this module because it's one of our most popular and widely used modules in SquirrelNet. If you did not receive an email when you requested these materials, you may still be able to find these folders if you click on this shared with me button here in Google Drive. And this should show you, um, take you to the folder of the modules that you requested in our request access form. Now, it should surprise nobody that the best place to start whenever you get into this folder is with the Read Me First document. So if I click on that document, this will take me to the Read Me First document. Um, and there's a short welcome, some information here about how to handle others uh, or folks that may want to share data. Um, and how to participate in our NSF funded assessments. We really encourage you to check that out and places that you can get connected with SquirrelNet. So you can connect your students to other students across the network. Now these highlighted links are where you're gonna find the data set and the data submission. We've tried to make this as easy as possible for you to find. This is a Google form here for your students to be able to upload their data to the national data set. Here is a version of the data set with the QR codes. And then here is a link to be able to download and view the national data set of all student submissions. So as students submit their data here, they will automatically appear in the national data set. Now, if you are working with students that are sort of still learning how to analyze and deal with data, we have also made available a cleaned copy of the national data set where we have deleted errant entries. Um, this includes some squirrels that were, for example, reported in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. We are just assuming that that was a mistake with the GPS coordinate and that this was not a unique squirrel um, that was part of the Atlantis squirrel colony. Below this, what you're gonna find is additional support materials. If there are YouTube avail videos that are available to support your module, you'll be able to find those. Um, other teaching materials and support, um, including the, the files associated with the original course source publication, student instructions and data sheets, and then some examples of how you might assess these materials in your class. Um, if you develop additional assessment materials or, or take photos of your students, we'd love to hear from you as well. There's a form here that you can use to submit um, either educational artifacts or media. Um, and again, we usually ask that you consider asking any pictured students to sign our media release form just to make sure that we have their permission. Finally, what you'll see here is we've got links to additional SquirrelNet modules, um, a link to that MOU that you agreed to when you requested these materials and um, point people to ask for questions. So let me just show you what these things look like. You'll notice that we may have made available to you as well a version of the data sheet with QR codes for students to submit their data. You'll notice that this is the same as the data sheet that is a freely available with course source, except that we actually have a link to submit data to the national data set and a QR code. And this is really handy because then students can actually submit their data in the field using their cell phones by just scanning this QR code, which will take them straight to the data submission link. Now, when they go to the data submission link, what you'll see is that this will take them to a Google form, which um, has several different pages and that those different pages mirror exactly these sections of the data sheet. So the data submission form is basically just a, a Google version of the data sheet. Now finally, if you want to access the national data set, what you can click is click on the link and you'll this will take you to a view only version of the national data set. You'll find the timestamp, email address, institution name, the observer, um, as well as all of the data as it is mirrored on the uh, data submission form. 
Now you'll notice that this is set up so that you can't edit the data. Um, that is just as a, a way of protecting the data from accidental mistakes. But what you can do as an instructor, if you'd like to share this with your students, is download this. Um, we recommend downloading it as a Microsoft Excel document, and then this will all come down as a Microsoft Excel document. Once again, if you want to um, check out the cleaned version of the data set, you'll notice that some of those um, more personal information like name uh, and email address have been removed. This just has the institution name as well as um, data that don't have any kind of issues. So um, this may be a little bit more of a user-friendly version of the data set uh, for your students to analyze. Lastly, I just wanted to sort of show you how I have put this all together in one of my courses. This is a um, ecology and evolution lab that I teach here at Colorado Mesa University, and this is what my D2L page looks like. You may use a different learning management software, and so this may look a little bit different. Um, but this is a page that I have for um, students to go collect squirrel behavior data on their own from when classes were hybrid in 2020 and 2021. Um, what you'll notice is that I put together a link here to submit data. This link just takes students to the squirrel data submission form. And um, in addition on that page, I also have some information about um, asking them to familiarize themselves with the protocol, which are published in our lab manual, information about uh, focal species and field sites that are here near our campus in Pine Junction, and um, a link to a data sheet um, and an opportunity to submit questions. I always include also a reminder not to submit any fake data just to see what the data submission form looks like and reminding them that this is the same as their spreadsheet. All right, hopefully that gives you a good orientation to the resources available for you for this module and um, for SquirrelNet modules in general. Um, please reach out to any of the SquirrelNet member teams um, if you have any questions, but in particular, these point people at the bottom of the README page are always great options. We look forward to seeing your data soon.